All right, guys, Stuart's here. So forgive me for the wind. It just got, like I said, the weather's kind of already changing up here. I wasn't expecting the weather to get all crappy on me. I'm up here, up in the mountains, um, in the national forest. Uh, we're gonna be doing some shooting here, but you ever wondered what a CR123 battery, lithium battery could do to a one inch thick mild steel plate? Well, me too. So I've got some of these loaded up to a custom shotgun shell. I should say I've only got one loaded up in a custom shotgun shell. And uh, the rest of these are uh, CR2 batteries. Uh, lithium batteries are a little bit smaller, but yeah, what the hell? Let's find out, right? Let's do this for science. So today, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really using my usual uh, shotgun. I'm using a brand new shotgun. This is called a uh, Akar Churchill 612, made by European American Armory. Now, if you're wondering why this looks a lot like a uh, Remington 870, that's because this is a unlicensed Remington 870 clone. Again, manufactured by European American Army. This is a brand new shotgun, never got a chance to use it, so, well, today is my day. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to be shooting those uh, lithium batteries out of this shotgun. So, this will be interesting. Okay. So this is our little range we got set up here. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm actually, I've actually changed my mind. Originally I was gonna shoot all four of these steel plates, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot three of them, and then I'm gonna save one of those uh, battery rounds for this uh, block of wood with the uh, black crosshairs on it. This block of wood is made of uh, five layers of two by material crisscross if you guys remember back in april 2019 i was making a whole bunch of targets this is one of them that i made so yeah we're going to shoot those now i'm kind of shooting at a downhill angle it's kind of sucks but it's kind of hard to see back there and all them trees but there is a another hill that runs eh, kind of that way kind of sloping down towards the left a little bit but that hill will act as our uh, backstop if in case anything goes too far but i'm not too worried because uh like i said these are just lithium batteries and then afterwards i'm going to be shooting some uh, buckshot and some experimental shells that i made um this is a pretty pretty short range it's only 10 yards so right there where the camera bipod and the shovel is that's 10 yards, thereabouts. That is kind of rough, rough estimated the uh, measurements. So that's where we'll be shooting from. All right. All right. So I know Demolition Ranch, probably about nine, 10 years ago, as of recording this video, has uh, done a similar, done a similar video where he was shooting uh, random stuff out of shotgun. I believe he shot, I want to say, a double-A battery out of a shotgun into, I don't know, it's hard to say what, what kind of steel plate he was shooting it at. It looked like a piece of channel iron. For all I may know, it could have been half-inch thick, three-eighths inch thick, or maybe quarter-inch thick. could have been mild steel. could have been hard steel. But needless to say, the battery punched a hole clean through that... Uh, that piece of uh, channel iron that you're shooting at. So we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, well, we're gonna do a little bit better. Now, <laughs> granted, these are not the best crimps that I've done on these uh, shot shells. So we just did not want to go together, but they should be good enough to work as is. So we're gonna go ahead. Without further ado, we're gonna this this green one is our CR123A. The rest of these are all CR2s. We're gonna shoot our CR123A. Okay. And I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead, load her straight into the chamber. All right, safety's on. Put the rest of these in my pocket. I'm gonna shoot 
that plate towards the middle on the shorter block closer to the block with the crosshairs. All right. Damn it. Missed. That surprisingly had a lot of kick. Yeah, boy. Getting some lightning and wind. You know what? Because these are not as accurate as I'd like, might have to move up a little bit closer. This wind is trying to blow my tripod over. All right. So this next one, we're going to aim for the same plate again. This next one, it's going to be a CR2, CR2 shell. Got the safety on. All right. Damn it, got to take the safety off, duh. All right, we're going to fire. Woo! <laughs> that one didn't hit as hard, but I seen that that piece of uh, I seen that wad go shooting over my head. Let's see what we got here, real quick. All right, I'm gonna pause the vid. Okay, so this is interesting. That's where the CR2 battery impacted uh, barely barely marred the surface barely like ever so slightly feel dent so obviously these things are not very effective against one inch mild steel plates <laughs> okay got another CR2 battery we're going to load it into our shotgun. Safety's on. All right. Uh, in for a different plate. All right, and for S and G's, we're gonna aim. We're gonna try to see if we can aim for that crosshair on that block. It's already been shot up a couple times, but should be able to find out where the new hole is. So, all right. <laughs> now that. Look pretty impressive. Smoky. That's what we got here. All right. So <laughs> that's the battery that impacted itself. It's basically embedded into this block here. Yeah, even at five yards, these aren't 100% accurate. This is a piece of the battery. One of the batteries that I shot up, shot against the steel plate, these things just explode. Yeah, look at that. Now look at the, look at this uh you see all this this black shit right here all that that's uh that's all from the battery hell this this is actually a piece of shrapnel from one of the batteries yeah, I can't even get that out yeah so they are pretty impressive to <laughs> as far as destruction but yeah, that's all I've got
that's all I've got. And that's all my Eckhart Churchill 612's got. I'm Dior's, and I'm out. You guys have yourselves a good one. Bye.